Hey everybody, today we are reviewing Nirvana for Getting Things Done, or GTD for short. My name is Lucas and in this video series I'm reviewing all kinds of applications to see how suitable they are as a workspace for GTD. Now Nirvana is a special one here, just like Facile Things, which I've uh, reviewed before, which you can see on this channel in that it is a, a tool that is built for GTD out of the box. Compared to usually when I have to set up a manual system with the tools I've done already. In this case, I didn't have to do any manual setup. So we can just dive right in and treat this more as a software review because Nirvana has really thought about a lot of GCD principles in how they've created this piece of software, which by the way is free. And uh, I've been in touch with uh, some people behind uh, the scenes at Nirvana. They've confirmed that it will always stay free, although they do have a uh, premium version for more features. But we are going to look at the free version here. So that's what our screen is showing us. So let's dive right in. And what we're going to start with is actually what I think is the strongest point about Nirvana in that it is super easy to process items that you've captured. So right now we're looking at the inbox, which is empty. So let's add an item here. We can do that by clicking, but Nirvana also has a, a suite of hotkeys that you can use, which you can find under settings and then pressing keyboard shortcuts, or obviously there's a shortcut for that as well. So meta, right? You can click it and then see all of them here. Either way, we can press N to create a new action or any new inbox item, so to speak. And we can see that it has the title here. And all these dimensions that are relevant to GCD are presented on the right side. So you can select how much time it's going to take, what the energy, what the required energy level would be, and a due date if needed. And you can also move it into a specific actionable category. So is it a next action? Is it a next action that you're waiting for from somebody else? Or is it something you just want to think about at a later time, in which case you can put it in the pre-configured someday list, which is someday maybe in exact GTD terms. To further categorize these items, we can actually use the tag functionality, which is a pretty broad way of uh, labeling things like we did with Evernote, for example. But in this case too, Nirvana provides a preset to use these tags more specifically for GTD. For example, we can select a certain area which is the area of focus that it's related to. Now you'll see that tickler file is present here, and I'll get to that in just a moment, why that is. You can also add and select contacts to, if you're waiting for something, you can add who you're waiting for here, or conversely, if you have to do something for someone else, you can also label it as such here. And for anything else, there's these placeholder labels, I suppose. This is where I put the context of the task, which obviously is going to be very important for GTD. You want to work from context. And then any additional details you want to add, you can add that as a note here. So very easy to use, easy to capture, and definitely very pleasant and easy to process when you do that maybe once every day, or at the very least once during your weekly review to easily move them into the appropriate place. So kudos to that. They've really done a great job here. Then when we see the next actions list, we see the power of labels come into play here because for now we've just created two example next actions here and we have two contexts available. So if you want to work from a specific context, all we just have to do is press it and we see the exact next action to do with that context. Again, easily accessible, very well done, and we can actually filter for even more uh, sections within the context, such as the energy level required or the time it would take to perform the action. So on a kind of ground level, I think this is really good. This is really strong. We can see in this example that these actions are both related to, a, to an example project, which is actually related to this very video you're watching. So it is to 
record a GTD setup video in Nirvana, which is a multi-step outcome. It requires setting something up in the first place, creating an account. That is uh, what I've done so I can mark it complete. And this is an action that's literally in process right now as I'm recording. So that's pretty cool. And once I've marked it done, it also appears in uh, a separate section marked as done. And uh, it will also disappear from the next actions list. So that is uh, very neatly done. The one issue I take with this here is I just cannot get it to work sequentially, which is a feature that they're claiming is available for projects. So you can set a project as being uh, sequential, which you can do here, treat next actions as sequential. And from what I've read in the documentation, it means that any action I can put at the top to be the next action and only that one, but any future actions will only appear in the next actions list once I've marked this one completed. However, what we can see here is that despite the setting being turned on, both of them appear in the next actions list. I just haven't been able to work this out. I don't know why. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to rectify if needed. Either way, you can also organize projects as uh, uh, parallel and as such, they will, you know, actually be what we've just seen. If that's what you need, then you're good. You can also set it as an active project or a scheduled project or even a someday project, which I think the use case for putting a project in a someday is going to be when it's an active project now, but you decide later on at not that relevant, going to move it to someday because why spend all that time processing it into a project in the first place if it's just for someday maybe but it's good to have it there because this is definitely a use case that any experienced ccd -er can empathize with this happens so that's really good moving to the tickler file actually so that is a specific area which is one of those taxonomies that nirvana offers the reason being is that it's not a default option here which i found a bit weird at first but i did find a way to make it work like this. So you can see that I have the YouTube area defined as area of focus, and that's what this project and these actions are related to. But it works just as well for the tickler file if you go to scheduled, which every uh, tickler file item should be, and then just make sure that all those tickler file items are grouped as such in uh, terms of the area. That way you can just easily access all those items when, if needed, by selecting the area and you can also see how that works out for a scheduled next action for example which will also be in this scheduled section but obviously that's not a tickler file item so this way we can filter those out works well but it is a bit counterintuitive to set up uh someday maybe list again pretty self-explanatory didn't even put an example here that is why that is empty at the moment and for reference, we have a separate section where we actually can create separate reference lists. Now this says seconds because I already created one and then I deleted it. So never mind that. But in a list, we can then add separate reference items, which I will demonstrate here. And you can also tag those items. So if you want to have a separate reference categorization you can do that here although the areas are available here as well now i think this is quite limited because in reference you might also want to store certain documents and it doesn't seem to be available there's just a plain text field which i can save and nothing else i don't think this is suitable as a totally comprehensive uh, gtd system let alone the fact that the higher levels of focus, such as your goals, your vision and your purpose, don't have their separate section here. Now you might just say you can turn that into a reference item and that would work, but it does deviate from the default GTD setup, so to speak. So all in all, I think this is a really strong system for 
managing your tasks in a GTD manner. That's really where the system stands out. The ease of processing, I think, is up there with the best, probably. But there are some errors that make me think I won't be able to fully use Nirvana for my complete GTD system. I will need tools like a, 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 a cloud drive to store certain files, etc., and access them from there for reference, etc., to really have my full setup. That doesn't have to be a deal breaker, but it's something to consider. So this has been GTD in Nirvana. Again, a software set up for GTD and free to try. If you're excited, just follow the link in the description to give it a go. And good luck setting up your CCD system.